And this is part two of flipping James Blake's track, I Mind. And we already have it open. So we're going to scroll down to the Dr. Rex player right here. And as you can see down here, I've already recorded something. So let's take a listen to that. I have it looped out to eight bars. And let me turn the click track off. And here we go. So that's the loop. And uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to add some drums to it. Now these are the drums we had from the last part. I'm going to play those right now. Now that's a nice basic drum. But what we need to do for our purposes is we're going to tweak it a little bit. So we're going to stop it, and we're going to find out on my MIDI keyboard where these drums are at. Okay, so now I'm playing the individual drum hits, which is basically the pieces of the loop. So if I play this drum, you're going to get this clip right here. The next drum is this clip so on, so on and so forth, hi-hat, kick, snare, oh, kick again, snare, kick, uh, hi-hat, and, and that's, you know, that's, that's what, basically what they are, so let's play the beat, and we're going to flip the drums, using the same drum sounds, just we're going to play them in a different way, all right, let's see what we got. So I'm basically, you know, fishing for ideas, um, you know, Alright, so, you know, I can record the loop, flip it up a little bit, so there we go, now we gonna get fancy with it, even more fancy, so we gonna stop the tape, and it's time to get creative, so what we're gonna do is going to open up an instrument. All you Mac users, you can press function and the F8 key and up will pop your tool window so you can pick out what instrument you want to play. 
In this scenario, we're going to pick out the Thor Polysonic Synth. Double click on that. That pops up. Make sure we hooked up. All right. And we're going to pick out base patch. All right. Let's see what we got. Um, these are the... These are the user, default user um, patches that come with the Thor. So we're going to use those. All right, bass. And let's just audition a few. Attack bass. Uh, attack bass. Let's see what we got. Just play around with it till you get what you want. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like this sound, pick another one. And keep in mind, the song's a little soft on the soft side with the sample. So you want to pick a bass that's going to complement it. You don't want to get too crazy. This ain't rock and roll. This is like laid back hip hop. Got the basic bass line. All right, so let's play from the top. Okay, right there, you notice that's supposed to be at the end. So that just happened because of the way I recorded it, the loop. And I'm gonna have to shift that. So to do that, you just select the select the bar that you want to split. Click the razor blade icon or hit the letter R on your keyboard, and then split it. And click the pointer um, just to see that it's split. See right there, right down here. This 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 part right here is where it's split. And then I can move that on the end. Scoot everything over and play. <laughs> All 
right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to tweak the base a little bit, soften it up. It's still a little bit too bright for the track. That's just my personal opinion. I mean, you guys got your own set to ears, so you do what you want, but I'm going to do what I want. All right, so we're going to come over here to the comb filter, and this frequency right here, F-R-E-Q, basically give a listen as I tweak. Here we go. We also have the filter right here. You know, we can fool with this thing until I got to go to work tomorrow morning, but I mean, you get the point. It's almost time to call it quits, but the last thing we're going to do before we get out of here is we're going to lengthen the sequence. Uh, we're going to do it. A little bit of arranging, but nothing crazy. Um, just set it up for the next session, basically. All right, so there's a couple of things I'm going to teach you right here. Um, if you look at this region here, you see two sections. This is the first section, second section. We're going to actually join these together since we're happy with it. And all you do is hit Apple J. That joins them up. If you look the way that's coming from, I'll show you again. It's an edit function. Edit. Join clips. Apple J. Or Command J. And for this one, we got to get rid of this piece. And this bad boy is a little too long. So we go in there. And we shorten it up. Actually, we don't have to do that. We can just crop them in. We do have to do it. There you, there you are. Get rid of them. Command J, and now we have three equal parts, all eight bars long, and then very simple process here, Command C, or edit, copy, and then we can paste, let's make, make it a little bit, zoom out so you can see the whole thing, and we're just pasting away, I normally go to about three minutes, well that's a little too long, so back it off. That's close. Three minutes and nine seconds. So that, that sets us up for the next session and um, see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>